Ah, oh, cool beans. So yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. We're going to be playing uh, The Plague, Kingdom Wars. It's about the Black Plague, my favorite plague of all. It's not the COVID. The COVIDs are not my favorite plague, but the Black Plague is. Come on. You can't resist it. It's my favorite plague. So yeah, it's a uh, a strategy game. Should be interesting. It was released today. It's available on Steam. Bam! There's a link for it again. And I've got some plague-related Amazon goodies for you. Huh? Huh? Maybe we should take a look at those right now. Because I was just yakking. Oh! Before we go, though. The Crown! Is coming back to Netflix for a sixth season. Yes, yes, I love my royalty shows, okay? If it's got royalty in it, I'm all about it. I, I don't know why. I, I find it interesting. Okay. It's time. It's time! Are you ready, Imp? Here we go. If you're brand new here, I apologize in advance for them and for what you're about to see. <laughs> the Crown, you're going to have to get... It's good. It's a good series. I like it. I like it. All right. We're going in. We pick only oh, the man. best. <laughs> Yes, yes, Amazon products you never knew you needed on But Wait, there's more. And if you're watching on the YouTubes, <laughs> don't forget to check us out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m., twitch.tv, me, Ma, the Geeky Granny. You know we want to be here, right up there, be part of the show. All right, first up for you. We've seen it in the past, but it bears repeating. My, my favorite plague in plushy form. That's right. It's the Black Death plushy. Isn't he cute? Look at him. <laughs> hey, he's adorable. How could something so cute be so terrible? <laughs> oh night obsidian thanks for stopping by hun <laughs> mad respect for the <laughs> geeky granny kitty <laughs> thank you hun it's cute but it looks deadly yeah he's sneaky he's sneaky so you're saying you want someone to give you the Black Death? Yeah. Hey, be cute on the shelf, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely spend a lot of time in bed with him. <laughs> Need a giant rat plush to carry it around. Cyborg Coyote. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Mwah. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, not my chair. But wait, there's more. That microbe is giving the best dramatic gopher face. <laughs> He's adorable. Okay. Now, when the Black Death comes calling, you better be dressed correctly. Like right now, you, you better be wearing your mask. You're wearing your mask, right? Right? Well, with the Black Death, you get a little more, a little more upbeat mask. Huh? Huh? I tried to find you guys a special one. This one has a little steampunk vibe to it. <laughs> Not this second. <laughs> you don't have to wear a mask if I don't go anywhere. That is true. That is true. You're safe in your house. 
Is that the link? I think that's the link. But check this out, huh? This one's special. It looks like a moth sticking its tongue out. <laughs> I, I think it's cool looking. It's a little pricey. It's a little pricey. But think about it. The Black Death's running around. This is probably your last outfit. You can splurge, right? <laughs> splurge a little. You can't take it with you. <laughs> I think it's very cool. <laughs> your masks have moose on them. <laughs> Why are they giving us this view? How often do people get this view? And look right up your nostrils. This isn't a good look. <laughs> Maybe really short people, this is what they see? Imp? Is this, is this your view of the world? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm picking on Imp. <laughs> is this how Imp views the world? Up everybody's nostrils. <laughs> oh, but I thought it was cool looking. You know, everybody's going to have those black plastic ones. This one's got pizzazz. It's a very hairy world out there for her. <laughs> hey, we've got the wax for it. We can fix the world for you, Imp. I saw a tweet of, of a guy getting his face waxed. I don't know who tweeted this. But he was getting his face waxed, and he had the, the stuff in his nose. And the guy pulled it out, and he screamed. Oh, I hurt for him. Oh, he jumped out of his chair. Oh. But wait, there's more. Okay. I found this. Because it was plague-related. And some folks out there may still play. My son plays. Bam! It's a magic card. Virulent plague. <laughs> it's a steal! It's only 63 cents! <laughs> and free shipping! <laughs> yeah, so I thought of that. I saw that and thought of you guys. Oh, no, Dark Angel. I'm so sorry to hear that, hon. You just got told your dad had to be transferred to another hospital and have emergency heart surgery. Oh, and you also found out you're losing your Aunt Diane, too. What a terrible, horrible day. Oh, stay here with us. Stay here with us. Maybe we can give you at least, you know, a tiny smile at the end of a terrible, horrible day. All the hugs and love. Here you go. Yeah, and all the good vibes. Sending them out to you. But wait. There's more. Now, I bet you're wondering to yourself, but Mima, how am I going to know if I have the Black Plague? It's a good question. Oh, no, Dark Angel. You're having a terrible year. <laughs> all the love, all the love. <laughs> yeah, stay here with us. You're, you're safe here with us, son. <laughs> here we go. A complete guide to your symptoms and what to do next. Bam. Oh, it comes in Kindle, hardcover, and paperback. Huh? Huh? Of course, you can always Google it, but this you can have ready right at your bedside. <laughs> 
But wait! There's more. Hold on. I got it. I got it. Whoops. There we go. The complete manual of things that might kill you. A guide to self-diagnosis for hypo 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 hypochondriacs. <laughs> hypochondriacs have long had to satisfy their needs for self-diagnosis with medical reference materials written for the masses. But this revolutionary book is dedicated entirely to the hypochondriac's unique perspective. <laughs> With over 300 deadly diseases profiled, conveniently organized by symptom, real or imagined, <laughs> even the mildest hypochondriac's fantasy life will be ignited. We're all going to die of something. Why not choose an ailment that's rare and hard to pronounce? Huh? Huh? Hey, contraband, how are you doing, hon? <laughs> phalanges! Dancing phalanges. Dan Give me some dancing phalanges! <laughs> Hypochondriac doctor. I've done some research, and I think I have all the lethal diseases from A to Q. <laughs> there you go. You can pick out a good one. Oh, hey, Laura, how you doing? Dancing phalanges. Thank you, thank you. But wait. There's more phalanges. <laughs> okay, so while I was thinking about the Black Death, I started thinking of, you know, pustules. As you do. And so was Amazon. And it recommended a blackhead remover kit in pretty rainbow colors. <laughs> That's right. You got your whitehead tweezers, a 10 time magnifying mirror. <laughs> and all the implements of destruction that you would ever need. Oh, I think. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There, we need the bigger pictures. Right? Rainbow tweezers, baby. Pick that puss out! <laughs> I'm literally crying so bad right now. I'm shaking and can't breathe. I hope in a good way, Dark Angel. I hope in a good way. <laughs> Do not taste the rainbow, Talamar. Talamar. No. Oh. Oh. Get a grip. Get a grip on him. <laughs> okay. Guilty pleasure. Come on, somebody out there must do it too. Anybody ever watch Dr. Pimple Popper? Come on. Come on, I know you're out there. <laughs> it's like a train wreck. You can't look away. How about a pus vacuum? We aren't cavemen. We have technology. <laughs> I, I was going to do that, Tree Kitty. I found a few. Amazon recommended a few pus vacuums for me. But I said, you know what? This is that we're going back in time here. Those folks didn't have pus vacuums back then. They had to tweeze their way through the 15th century. <laughs> Talmar's daughter does? Yeah, there we go. I'm not alone. <laughs> oh. 
No, but I do watch a guy that trims cow's hooves and fixes abscesses in their feet. See? See? I would so watch that, Chrissy. <laughs> did they have tweezers? Royalty did. But wait. There's more. You might say, tweezers, me, ma. Right? We've got technology now. We don't have to work with that. I mean, you might think there should be an app for that. There is. It's the Pimple Popper app. <laughs> From Room Candy Games. Hold on. You know you got to see it close up. I, I, I actually... I knew. Listen! Listen! Oh man, and oh, that's no. century, you shouldn't be poking anything into yourself. Too much infection around and not enough hygiene. Very true. Very true. How about new? <laughs> oh, wait, wait. How about new? Listen! Listen, listen. I downloaded this. <laughs> it was a while back. I mean, you have oh, to. No. You have to. And and I tried it. <laughs> and that's what it is. You get a person's face and then <laughs> you get to pop their pimples. And they've got four different kinds. Huh? Huh? You won't get bored with this one. <laughs> They've got your blackheads, your whiteheads, your scabs, and your full-blown pimples. <laughs> Wait, listen, enough. That's a no. <laughs> if I could turn back time, I wouldn't eat that chocolate. Enjoy the ooey gooey goodness. <laughs> there you go. Look it up. <laughs> you know you want to. You know you want to. All right. It's battle time, baby. Oh. If you have not played with us before, go to streamcaptain.com. There's a link in chat. It's a little browser game, free to play. It amuses us. Keeps us out of trouble. And we get to kill squishy eyeballs! <laughs> yeah! Come on, Emerald Tree Kitty Fenicus! Our champions! You can do it, guys! Oh, yeah. Do the eyeballs have bones when they die? I wouldn't think so. Alright, I think it's gonna be... Wolf praise. Papa Bill is the wiener! Oh, we collect goodies. Yay! Can I level anybody up? <gasps> My coral berserker! Nice. All right, we're going to take this path down here because I, I don't know what this is. Monster ambush, very hard. <gasps> a loyalty skin chest. 10% chance of a skin drop. <gasps> we, have to, we have to get here. We have to get here. It's going to be hard, but we can do it together. Okay. We're going the tough route. We can do this together. All right. But wait. There's just there's just a couple more.
All right. Mima, what if my phone runs out of juice? Huh? What if I what if I have dead batteries? Then what am I going to do? Not to worry. Bam! We got your poppet pal, your pocket poppet pal. The official pimple popping toy with refillable pus. Doc Nader! Hey, hun, how's it going tonight? I see the perfect video to show for Imp. <laughs> Sins are all the rage. Yes, they are. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and it's refillable. <laughs> Is that cheese whiz? <laughs> Phalanges, does that look like your ramen noodles? <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> your pop and pal pimple pus. <laughs> Keep it in your purse. What about new? <laughs> Get in there with both hands, both fingers. Give it a good squeeze. It's stress relieving. <laughs> oh, most satisfying stress relief toy. Ease worry, calm the mind, and discover a great fidget solution. Imagine pulling this out in the middle of a board meeting. <laughs> you can do it on Zoom. Is it Zoom? Boom? Skype? What What are the kids meeting on nowadays? I want to say Zoom. It's Zoom, right? Need crackers with that cheese whiz? <laughs> Rather use bubble wrap. <laughs> bubble wrap is so old school. Oh, Zoom and go to meeting. Okay. I think fidget spinner would work better. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is pretty good. But wait. Apparently, we have more. Let me... Let me check this video. You gotta check the video. Why is it so... It's... Oh! Oh! Show it! Oh! 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 Masses oh! Especially him. Oh! We... You don't want to go here! You don't... Oh! Man! Alright! Are you... Look away, Imp! Look away! Just for you, him. Just look away. I gotta get it all in the frame here. Here we go. Oh. It's got subtitles, Imp. You gotta read them. Kale, this is kind of embarrassing, but... Oh, this? Yeah, do you mind? You got it. Link to that. You oh. might be able to use it in the future. Oh, yeah, if he wants to sleep on the couch. At the end, I'm gonna die. Well, we'll, we'll have to switch to a different tab. I think <laughs> just the threat of printing out some screenshots from that would be enough to uh, get whatever you want, Talamar. <laughs> oh, troll. Love you all. <laughs> Anubis just lost their appetite. 
Oh. Troll. I, whoa. Good find. Uh, that was a good find. That was a good find. Oh, my goodness. Uh, drink them if you got them. <laughs> or if not, Kale could probably get them for you. Oh, wow. After these messages, <laughs> she'll be right back. Maybe. <laughs> Nothing phases phalanges. Giggling with a mouthful of noodles. <laughs> oh, that that one caught me off guard. It did. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> okay, but wait. There is one more. <laughs> There's one more. I'm sorry, Imp. I'm sorry. Can't forget the gravy now, Phalanges! <laughs> All right, we've got your simple infected wound and synthetic pus kit. Pre-colored silicone prosthetic appliance and cotton swabs for Halloween or theater. Look at the detail in those pustules, right? That just says Black Plague, doesn't it? It's so realistic. Your pustule kit is four by four. <laughs> or to go out on a butthead blind date. <laughs> More like yellow fever. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, this is perfect for social distancing insurance. Right? You stick that on your face or in, on your hand. Nobody's going to want to shake your hand. And I bet you they back up a step. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing says keep your distance than some nice, ripe pustules. <laughs> ow. That says ow, ow, ow. Oh. All prosthetics are made with Plastigel, 10 silicone, and silicone pigments. Looks more like a chemical burn? I don't know. I wouldn't want it, whatever it is. Oh, Doc Nader! Just a pinch between the cheek and gum. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. Well, there we go.